Better late than never. That's what they say, isn't it? Better late than never. Well, this summer is certainly that. My word, it is bloody hot out there. My God. I mean, we've literally not seen summer, have we, for, what, eight, nine weeks? Not a, not a sniff. And all of a sudden, we're getting this unbelievable heat wave. And it's, yeah, I've just come off the bus. Um, hence why I've got wet hair and because I've just had a cold shower because I've got indoors. I thought I can't record until I get into a, a shower. And literally, it was just purely cold water. It was amazing. Um, yeah, so I'm, I hope you're all right out there because it is it's very warm. And yeah, if you're stuck on a bus like I was, then geez, that was uh, quite difficult. Um, but you know what? Nothing's going to stop my um, good mood though, because West Ham. I mean, what a great start to the season we've had. It's been, it's just been brilliant. I like when things are going well with your club. It's, it's there's nothing beats it, is there? It just it does something to you. It does something to you. I was speaking to X earlier actually. I've speaking on, on the phone and said to him like, it's just it does something to your life, doesn't it? When West Ham are doing well, you just in, things just seem better. Like you, you've got an extra spring in your step, and um, and we've got some better news as well. This is hence why this video. I'm really pleased to do it because. We've had some really positive news further, which just seems to be the case. When things are going well, it just seems to roll, doesn't it? Things go, go you know, continue. So thank God. And let's hope it does continue um, uh, for a long, long time more. So um, let's talk about um, Naya for good. So he's been heavily linked um, recently with a move to um, Saudi. There, there, there's clubs apparently very interested in him. Riley did a video on it. Uh, it might have been yesterday, the day before. Uh, very interesting in terms of the clubs that are very interested. And, and to be honest with you, um, there's a, a general feeling that it was very serious that they were going to come in and put a big offer in for the player. And the fact he's only been here a year kind of made you think, well, would he be tempted? And, you know, at the end of the day, we're not going to be able to match the sort of wages that Saudi can play. No, I don't, any English club can at the moment. I just don't think we can. It's the, the money we're talking is ridiculous. And look at Henderson. If he's on 700 grand a week, he's probably, you know, it wouldn't be too dissimilar for what um, they'd be offering a GERD. So, I mean, not saying that we, we know exactly what they were going to offer, but it it was looking like there were a big offer was going to come towards a good. Now, let's just talk about a good for a minute before we do anything. Um, he joined, as I say, he joined last year. Uh, only been here, um, it, it was in June, actually. June 22, he joined uh, the club um, from Renz. He signed for 30 million quid. Um, of course, uh, straight away, typical West Ham style, um, you know, with the excitement of bringing him in. Injured immediately in pre-season against Rangers. Um, hurt his ankle, needed an operation. He missed three months, first three months of the season which was such a big blow. But my word, what a player he's, he's become for West Ham. Really has sort of settled into the squad now. He is, isn't he? Him, him and Zuma are considered our two main centre-backs, and, and rightly so. I mean, it, there's no disguise in the fact that Agurd is a very talented player, um, hence why we spent all that money on him. He's, he's more than worth it, hasn't he? He's, he's been brilliant. And not only that, in terms of his defensive capabilities, which I think in the first season there was a couple of times when you... You could see he's still trying to pick up the pace of the Premier League a little bit, um, but he, he's got stronger and better as, as he's gone along. But not only that, he's, uh, he's goal scoring as well. I mean, he's, he, he does come up with the, the important goals here and there as well. So a great, great player. And the partnership with him and Zuma has been one of the key reasons we've, we've been successful. Um, not just, you know, this season. I'm talking about last season in terms of the Cups and everything else. He's just become a very, very important player to us. Hence why the worry, you know, that there was real concern. If West Ham were unable to keep a GERD uh, this summer, that would have been a horrendous blow. Um, now, XWH employee put up an update uh, prior um, to this this video, actually. And this is so we're going to talk a little bit about that. But basically, what it was, West Ham were basically saying straight away, well, he's not for sale, like Zuma, we're not interested in selling, and rightly so. But at the end of the day, money talks, doesn't it? Everyone's got a price at the end of the day. And if they came along and said that we're going to offer you 60, 70 million pounds for a GERD, I think you'd really struggle to say no to it. I really do. And but what X Daisy reported was saying that West Ham, I think, effectively will brace themselves, I think, for that kind of offer to come forward. And if it is the case, then then we'd obviously look to reinvest in January. But let's be honest, that would have been a terrible blow, especially if, you know, going back at the start of the season we've had and how important a GERD is and that partnership with Zuma. So, yeah, I mean, in the day, he's a, he's, a, he's a key player for us, isn't he? There's no, no ways about it. And X, as I said, um, basically reported that the club were, if they were going to sell a GERD to a Saudi club or a Zuma, it would have to be astronomical money for us to, to even consider it. So, and um, that's that. I mean, as I said, and before I go into where we are at the moment, um, I, I actually generally think that you can see how important a GERD is, not only in terms of his ability, but the fact he's a, he's a leader as well, isn't he? And a lot of people were actually saying he could be captain. 
Obviously, it looks like Zuma. We talked about video uh, yesterday that says that Kurt Zuma will be a, uh, a well, he will be the full time captain at West Ham. That's more, more looking more and more likely now to, to be confirmed soon. Um, but you'd probably consider, if it, I did mention in that video regarding Zuma and captaincy, that we'd need a very good vice captain, a very important one because of Zuma's injuries. You're going to need someone to be able to step in. I've got to say, I think the girl could step into that. You know, the fact he's got a close relationship with Zuma as well would really help that, I think, having a captain and vice captain uh, together. So, yeah. Yeah, a massively important player. Now, as I've said, the, the update we had from X was that West Ham would only accept an offer if it was astronomical. Uh, it, and, you know, when you, when you think of Saudi, well, that could happen. I mean, look, look at Mo Salah. I mean, it's looking likely he's going to depart Liverpool. I mean, not many people would have said that um, a couple of months ago. So it just shows you uh, things can happen. However, we've got some really good news on this, actually. Um, we've got news that... This is from uh, Fabrizio Romano, we've heard some other people as well. We're going to get it all confirmed, excellent, et cetera, et cetera. Um, basically, that um, West Ham have absolutely, obviously I've said, no intention of selling, but actually the player doesn't want to go either. The player has absolutely no intention of leaving West Ham. He's very happy at West Ham, wants to stay, and he's going to be staying. So we, we can basically uh, breathe a sigh of relief there that um, Nye for good will be staying with West Ham. I mean, that's massive news, massive news. I'll tell you what I really like about it. Um, I mean, this is oh, sorry. Before I go into this, this is the quotes from we got from Fabrizio. So he said, "The player is very happy at West Ham. West Ham are very happy with the player, and the Saudi move will not happen at all." So, I mean, what reading that was just such a huge sigh of relief, wasn't it? That, that's exactly what we want to hear. That we're, we're keeping a key player. Um, my thoughts on it are, um, well, one that you know, it's a great boost because we're keeping a key player. That that that's the first and foremost. And the fact is, we've you know, the fact we've started the season so well. You, Last thing we'd need is um, a big player like that to depart. You just it would just be a disaster. We don't want that, and so that that's a huge sigh of relief. But one big key aspect I really really like about this is that we're getting that feeling of players wanting to stay at the club. I talked about that in the summer that I was getting concerned that we were struggling to retain players. I talked about the you know recently about the importance of getting Bowen to sign a new deal. That's obviously moving forward, and we want that secured. But the fact is, you've got someone like a Gerd now. You know Saudi Arabia coming forward saying that we could offer you X, Y, and Z, and all that, and he's opting to stay at West Ham. That's sending the right message. We've got we've had a summer where we've just lost our captain, a key player at West Ham, which is not as I've said, not a great advert for the for club. But let's make no mistake, it doesn't look good. I mean, you know, end of the day, we move on from it. Dave and X are talking about that in the podcast. It's time to move on. We don't want to dwell, but. That being said, you can't change the fact that that happened. And West Ham need to start showing that we are a club of players want to be at. They want to stay and they're excited for the future. And I just think this goes goes along with that. It, it makes us feel like, yeah, do you know what? West Ham is the place to be. And if you've got Naya Fagerd that has been offered, you know, potentially going to be offered a big deal, a uh, big money move to Saudi Arabia, and he'd rather stay at West Ham, he said that he's happy, then that, that's, that's really good, exactly what we need. Um Look, this is a United squad, isn't it? This, there's a feeling about West Ham at the moment that's just good. There's a real feel-good factor at West Ham. There's a there's a feeling that we've sort of matured a bit as a football club recently. Um, I think that cup win's done that. I think that we've just seen a little bit differently. We're, we're behaving slightly differently. We look a bit more professional. We're able to attract good players. I just think there's a good feeling. And, and this is just another big tick for me. This was, this was always a little bit of a worry, I'm going to be honest, uh, regarding the Saudi interest in the GERD and Zuma. And to have the GERD, you know, confirm that he's staying, I mean, obviously not from his mouth, but what we're getting reported is a huge boost. Um, and look, it's another bit of good news. And uh, as West Ham fans, we can certainly um, are not going to turn our nose up at that after what's been a tough season last season. But yeah, let's just keep these good times rolling. 